Welcome back watch fans and thanks for watching another watch review and this is going to be for the the Wenger Field Classic. I got this one as a I actually got it from a gray market so this is literally how I got it in the box um like half box <laughs> so the guy lost the lid uh, for whatever reason, um, it's, it's a, it is a brand new watch, but it's also a gray market watch. And this one had sat on the shelf for a while. There's no tags. Um, who knows what the story with it is, but it looks like he had tried to change the battery. It's from 2015. So the battery had obviously died at this point. Um, it had been sitting for a while. I did some work on it, uh, just to service it, to, to make it like uh, new again. Uh, this one will probably be for sale. Actually, I can almost guarantee it. Uh, but I will not sell it as new because, I mean, I guess it is new, but I don't have tags or anything. So I'm just going to sell it as re, uh, sell it remanufactured, but it is basically a new watch. Uh, before we go into any details on this watch, let's go ahead and uh, watch this video on the history and, and some additional information on Wenger. Thank you. Technically pronounced Wenger, the company dates back to the late 1800s. The company got its start in Switzerland in the canton of Jura. This region is overlooked by the Jura Mountains and famous for a number of watchmakers whose names are too many to list. The company's first line of products include industrial cutlery and butcher equipment. Technically known as Paul Bouchette and C, the company would become known as Wenger after Theodore Wenger, a minister who'd served in the U.S. military, returned to Switzerland and joined Paul Bouchette. They quickly worked to produce a new pocket knife supporting a government contract for the Swiss Army. This contract was split with the company Victorinox, thus beginning the long relationship with the company. For nearly 80 years, Victorinox and Wenger both produced Swiss Army knives. Wenger began production of watches in 1988, a year earlier than Victorinox. Things looked promising for both companies, but they were both hit hard in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. New airline rules outlined the use of pocket knives, which were common among passengers. Eventually, this took its toll on Wenger, and the company was saved from bankruptcy only when Victorinox purchased them. Eventually, Victorinox became the sole producer of the Swiss Army knife, while, com while both companies continued to produce watches under separate names. While the Wenger brand is known for, as an entry-level watch, that's not to say that they haven't produced their share of quality watches. Their most famous high-level watch is the GST Classic, which was a mechanical watch powered by the famous Valjou 7750 27-joule movement. This watch retailed for over 10,000 US dollars. The watch is extremely rare and came in at every conceivable complication you could imagine, to include moon phase, day, date, and month, second time zone, and chronograph. Wenger is truly an underrated brand, and I really cannot emphasize this enough. They produce watches that range from 100 in today's US dollars all the way to 2000 for their high-end watches. Most of the watches I will review from this company will be in the sub-500 range. For the price point, you absolutely get a substantial value, and this watch is no exception. Alright, so if you haven't seen my videos in a while, hopefully you learned a little bit more about Wenger uh, than you knew before. and. So I assume if you are watching this, you may or may not have seen my other videos. Uh, so this was a gray market watch, and this is probably an excellent opportunity for me to talk about what that means, uh, gray market. <clears throat> gray market is you're getting a watch that in many cases could have been a return. In, in, in most cases, it's not um, it's not so, so dramatic, I suppose. Normally, it's just a company liquidates uh, a whole stock of watches. It could be... Uh, anything from an old an old stock at uh, Costco and some company buys it and they get 40 or 50 of them and then so they pop them up on eBay. Warranties are generally still good but it's hard to uh, claim the warranty because they may ask when it was purchased so you just have to show your eBay uh, what's it called eBay um, auction and the person who sold it to you uh in a case like watch like this um you could probably still get the warranty but you know these are good solid watches they don't they generally don't uh they don't go bad this one um god gray market the uh 
the seller sells all kinds of other stuff and they just get things on clearance. So you can kind of see um, it's in great shape, but obviously they had lost the lid. This is probably um, one of several others that, um, you know, <laughs> was missing the lid, the manual and everything else. You can see they tried to change the uh, um, the uh, uh, the battery and scratched the scratch the back. Not a big deal. This is going to get completely scratched anyways. Um, but I went ahead and opened it, and, and I'll put some pictures up here so you can see right there. Um, I added, uh, I replaced the O-ring gasket. When I removed the case back, it looked like when the person put the case back, uh, back on, they pinched the O-ring and they cut it. So had somebody worn this and used it, it would not have been waterproof, which is unfortunate because it's a hundred meter, but I'll talk about that a little later. What I did is I replaced it with, um, with one of these, um, a new O-ring, 36 millimeter, and I greased it with the greasing anchor pad, which essentially uh, has this in it. And it's very important for all of you watch makers, uh, and I use that term loosely, right, because I don't consider myself a watchmaker, I consider myself, my, myself a watch repair, but uh, that's sort of a contentious term because a lot of people consider themselves watchmakers when they don't actually make watches. But I won't get into that, but you guys know my opinion. Uh, in any case, when you are fitting a new gasket, you have to make sure that it is... <sighs> there's a very specific size, and the factory does this too. The gasket's usually a little bit smaller than the opening, so it fits nice and snug. And the only way to keep it that way is to actually grease it. And so, of course, you would use this. And back to the pictures again, you can see that what I had done is I had actually put it on there. Uh, that O-ring in the image there is being held in place by the grease. And when you put the case back on, you put it on nice and slow, sort of move it back and forth, and you can kind of feel it to make sure that as you're spinning it, it is correctly uh, equidistant and not distorting, because you, you do not want it to distort. Uh, because like in the situation with this one, it distorted and the gasket had cut and they used a really cheap battery as well, uh, which I ended up replacing. I put a brand new battery in it as of, let's see, what is today? Uh, today is the 23rd of February, 2021. Brand new battery. So uh, it should be good for at least another six years, but um, fully serviced. And this is a very nice watch. This is Wenger's classic field watch and there's a bunch of different designs i really like this one i mean i would keep it but i mean what can i say i have got so many watches i am looking at a um a wall of watches hanging from here and uh, it's <laughs> i've got so many watches it's like what do i do i can't keep these i love them that's why i do the reviews because you know what it's kind of like i get to save a little bit of it even though i'm giving it up so it's kind of nice but in this case, yep, it's for sale. Um, uh, it, excellent watch. I really like this one. It is a 100 meter water resistance. So I'll put the chart up there. Uh, what that means is, is that you can do basically anything you want with this. You can uh, shower, wash your hands, do the dishes. Uh, if you st still do them by hand, um, you can go swimming. Uh, you can shower and you can even do some some decent snorkeling uh, at the beach and uh, This watch is perfect for that because it also has a silicon strap um, The silicon strap it picks up a lot of lint That's one thing I don't like about it and you can see all this little lint and stuff on it, but it's a um, very nice strap uh, I really really do like these silicone straps um, They don't get too too hot you know in miami sometimes you can get a little hot but if you're using this you're probably going to be using it to uh, uh you might be playing soccer or do some sort of athletic activity or whatever it just looks good with anything or you can even replace it with um let's see if i have one you know my favorite watch straps like this like i think this would look really nice with that i think it'd look excellent uh, i'm a big fan of these nylon straps but um yep yeah, uh some of the obvious things uh wenger logos on the front on the crown, I love that. Uh, on the, the buckle, on the strap, and on the back. This is a sapphire coated crystal. 
It has a significant um, scratch resistance. It is three layer coated. One of the things about a, um, you know, it's a hardened mineral crystal anyway, which is stronger than normal mineral crystal, but it is sapphire coated. Now it is not solid sapphire, but it is three layer coated. So it does not have the impact resistance of normal sapphire, but it does have the same scratch resistance as a normal sapphire. Um, it's a couple of things I can talk about. Brushed case, very nice, uh, 316 stainless steel, um, really nice. You can see that the crystal is perfectly flush. Um, let's see, uh, what else can I talk about? I already talked about water resistance. Let's show a picture of the movement. It is a Swiss ETA movement, kind of a no frills movement. Uh, super, super reliable, no jewels, nothing too significant. It's, it, it's not uh, anything that I would... I'll uh, be like, oh my god, I've got an ETA, whatever this is, I, I forgot, I'll end up looking it up after this video and put it at the bottom, but it is a good, solid, reliable movement. Uh, it will probably outlast the watch itself, guarantee it, um, as long as you change the batteries and you don't let water intrude in it, but there's a seal on the end and in the shaft, so uh, it works very well. Um, let's check out the loom before we start doing some measurements. So the loom is quite good. It's uh, it's brand new, hasn't ever been in the sun. So look at this. I mean, this is <laughs> this is pretty spectacular. I mean, you see the numbers and everything. Let's go ahead and uh, measure this too, so we can get a good idea of what it looks like. All right, uh, 41 millimeters. The lug is 20, and the case depth is, uh, I'm going to say 10. So good, good round numbers <laughs> all the way around. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, this watch retails, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but I'll correct it below. Retails for about $179.95, uh, which, is, which is actually a very good price uh, for what you're getting. Um, I think I'm going to put it up for $59 because I didn't pay much. It'll be somewhere around there. Uh, there is a hacking feature. You can see that when you, when you disable it. So if you're not using it and you don't intend to uh, use it for a while, you can pull that out. Uh, battery life will last up to, what is it, eight years with this particular movement without uh, draining, without uh, totally dying, and engaged, it's good for about uh, four, four years. So still pretty decent. Uh, I think that's pretty much, I've talked about this thing to death. Um, very, very nice field watch. Uh, you get what you see, basically. It's a standard three hand with a date, but it's got some style, it's got some class. And I gotta, it's gotta go because I got too many watches. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave a like. Um, interested in any comments that you may have, especially about gray market, because <laughs> I'm, I really get a kick out of gray market watches because you can get some really good deals, but you can also get some absolute garbage. Um, but I've been pretty lucky. I've had some that are just in, I've gotten them, and they're so bad that I just don't even make a video of them. Uh, but go ahead and discuss, uh, you know, at the bottom below and please subscribe if you're interested in more videos like these. Thank you very much.